Hey traders, Dow Jones recently broke the all-time structure high and now we see a strong bullish continuation. And now the question is, where is the next strong resistance? From which level we may expect the next retracement, the next correctional movement? In this video, I will teach you how with the Fibonacci's we can spot the next strong resistance. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's start. Alright traders, so the first thing to note about US 30 index, we are currently trading in the no man's land. It means that on the left we have no structure, yes, the price tests this levels the first time, yes, and we don't have any historical structure on the left. So here we need something else to spot the closest strong resistance. And here we will apply the Fibonacci extension tool. How we apply the Fibonacci extension tool? Here we will look for the so-called confluence zone, the zone of confluence. And in order to do that, we need to spot the so-called impulses, the legs of a move. So let me show you how we do that. In order to apply this approach correctly, we need to spot at least three bullish impulses. So here, analyzing the price chart, and ideally, we will look for these impulses. And the first impulse that I wanted to show you is this one. It is the minor impulse. It is a bullish movement from that high low to the previous all-time structure high. And you can see how sharp it is, and definitely it is very important for the market participants. Then here goes the second bullish impulse. You can see that here within this bullish impulse, we have three very important price fluctuations. We got a sharp bullish rally, then the retracement, and then the next strong bullish impulse to the all-time structure high. You can see that this mid-term wave right here was very decent. And then here I see one more, this one, the impulse lag from that low to that high. Again, this year it was a sharp bullish rally. You can see how nice and sharp growth we got within that impulse. So definitely we must consider that in our analysis. So you can see that here we spotted three impulse lags, yes? And based on this impulse lags, bullish impulses, we will draw the FIB extension levels. So let me show you how we do that. Hey traders, if you want to see how I apply all these techniques live, if you want to see how I treat the market live and how I analyze the market live, you will definitely enjoy my premium educational group. There I run live Q&As for my students, there I run live streams for them, and there I teach you how I apply my trading strategy. For more info, check my website. It is vasilytrader.com slash private group. The link in the description below. Please check it and let's continue. So let's draw the FIB extension levels based on our smallest bullish impulse. In order to do that, we take the low of the impulse and the high of the impulse and draw the FIB extension. Yes. And let me show you the settings for my FIB extension. You can see that I have right here 1272, 1414, and 1618. Default levels, no magic. And if you apply MetaTrader, I guess you have the same levels there. Then the same thing we will do with our second bullish impulse. Yes. And here again, let's take it slow. Let's take it high and draw the FIB extension again. Yes, you can see how simple it is. And lastly, let's take our third impulse, the strongest impulse. And again, let's draw the FIB extension. From the low of the impulse to the high of the impulse, we draw the extension levels. So here what we got. And you can see that right here, we have the complete mess. We have a lot of FIB levels right here. And watching, watching that, it doesn't make any sense. But here, if we pay close attention to these levels, we may spot a very peculiar thing. Even though the majority of the FIB levels here are lying on completely different levels, you can see that there is a one peculiar zone where the FIB extension levels match right here. Yes, you can see that here we have a perfect confluence between 1414, 1414, and 1272 extensions. Here we spotted the so-called confluence zone, yes, and most of the time the confluence zone serves as a very strong resistance. When the market participants don't have a historical structure, when the market participants are 
treating the market in the no man's land. Quite often the bankers, the big players are applying FIB extensions for measuring and identifying the zones. And you can see that here we spotted such a zone. And from such a zone, we will expect a bearish move. But once you spotted the zone, also remember to look for the confirmation first. Yes, even though right now we can make a prediction that the price will drop from the zone, from that zone we may expect a pullback but we need some confirmation and let me briefly explain to you what can be the confirmation look for a confirmation on lower time frames analyze the price action there here i open the four hour chart and here you can see the zone that we spotted here in the four hour analyze the price action price action is very telling here based on the higher levels we may spot this trend line and based on the higher highs we may spot this trend line so that you can see that the mortgage right now is trading in this rising parallel channel and what will be your confirmation right here? Your confirmation will be the bearish breakout of the support of the channel to the demo side. Once you see the breakout, the 4-hour candle closes below the support of the channel. Only then, only then a bearish continuation will be expected. Yes, so the intraday price action must confirm the strengths of the identified confluence zone. Yes, only then you open a short position. And how many FIB levels should match in order to compose the confluence zone? We need three. Here we analyzed three impulses, yes, and we need the confluence of all this three impulses in order to confirm the confluence zone. And if there is no confluence, then there is no confluence. Yes, there is no confluence zone. And then you are looking for something else. That is how we apply this technique. All right, traders, this FIB confluence technique is very efficient. Try to apply that analyzing different financial instruments. Try to apply that analyzing different time frames, and you will see how accurate it is. Also remember that once you spot the confluence zone, it is very important for you to look for the confirmation. Confirmation here plays a very important role before you open any trading position. For more education, for more tips, don't forget to check my premium educational group, the link in the description below. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you on the weekend.